I am just finding out about this character yesterday, and I have not seen any videos yet. So, let's watch the video. Yeah, I saved it. I wanted to watch it with you guys. Alright, so you guys ready to see the new character? This is my first time seeing him. A perfect world is a perfect prison. They taught us uniformity is strength. Like links in a chain. That there was a formula for success that we all must follow. But <laughs> I've never been much of a follower. So, I stepped away, beyond so the lifeless gardens, so, so into the wild, wider world, to explore its infinite beauty. And I learned that our home needs help. He's so girly, Pop. I love him so much. Gotta be Sim's lover? I don't know. They would be cute together, though. Each step has led me closer to understanding how passion and calculation, failure and oh, resilience, I see why you're saying Sim now. He science has, like, Sim's and ability. life, all brought together, can lead us to something honest, vital, true. And he loves animals. Perfection is overrated. Our strength lies in our differences, in our compassion, our willingness to grow. Dang, that's music though. I have brought nature and technology together to create a new possibility. Will heal our world. Cute, very, very cute. I love his character. Let me turn it down just a little bit. It's a little loud. Alright, I think this might be the gameplay. <laughs> like how he plays in game. A little care always helps. Don't give up! This is our fight to win! Yeah, this is actually making me pretty hyped for him. Hi, <laughs> Kano. Being down just makes the comeback all the more exciting. Let's <laughs> you up. The little petals on his back. You're blossoming. <laughs> Lucky I was here, huh? So you can save your teammates from falling off the map, but... My platform is here! Are we gonna be able to react fast enough? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I feel like you're gonna need some really fast reaction time to play this character. You can pull them Shall off we do this together? Leave this to me! Life unbridled! What is that? What is that? Like a healing healing tree. Spend every moment growing into who you truly are. <laughs> I love the way he stands, like pops one hip out. Oh, I'm excited. April 11th. Okay, one week. And it's like a shield, like a Life Weaver is a support hero that focuses on ranged healing really with a playstyle that most closely matches that of a main healer. Lifeweaver has an alternate weapon similar to Mercy and Torbjorn, so he technically has two primary fires. The most important being Healing Blossom, which is a biolite flower bud held in his right palm. Holding primary fire will rapidly bloom the bud, increasing the amount of healing oh. it can provide. That's Releasing pretty. primary fire will send the blossom to the targeted hero. His alternate primary fire is called Thorn Volley and is available after swapping to the alternate weapon, mostly as a means of emergency self-defense. 
When Life Weaver switches to this weapon, okay. his right forearm rotates to reveal biolite thorns that he's then able to fire rapidly from his Dang, palm in a scattered this is a lot of damage to Rand. Secondary fire is an interesting ability called Petal Platform. When used, Life Weaver throws a pod that blooms into a flower-shaped platform upon That's going to be so confusing. This platform is pressure sensitive and will lift into the air when an ally or enemy steps on it. Once lifted, the platform will stay airborne for a short You're time before fight. fizzling You just start raising a in well the air. A well-timed jump at the apex of the platform's ascent will result in greater height. The first ability is called Rejuvenating Dash. Hi, when used, Life Weaver instantly dashes in his traveling direction while also lightly healing himself, allowing him to react to dangerous situations or simply to get to places faster. Combining this with okay, Pedal like Platform can nice result movement. in covering much larger distances. Ooh. Rejuvenating Dash is also able to be used while charging fun. healing blossom. I want to know, like, His the secondary ability that. is very unique. It's called Life Grip, and it envelops the targeted ally in a protective shield of Biolite before then pulling them to the cast <laughs> position. <laughs> the His ultimate ability. is called Tree of Life. When activated, Life Weaver enters a targeting mode, allowing him to place and grow a large tree that pulses with healing energy. The initial placement the of the tree heals a substantial amount, it. followed so, by so continued pretty. pulses of lesser healing. Tree of Life also provides cover for your team, acting as a blocker for the movement and attacks so of all strong. players. There are a few unique abilities here that stretched our imaginations during development. Life Grip giving players the ability to save allies by shielding and pulling them is something that can lead to some very heroic moments the in team Reaper. fights and can also pair with some ultimates very well. Tree of Life being able to turn team fights around by providing oh cover and healing for your gosh. team is something that the team worked very hard on getting right, both Ryan, in function and in Ryan shatters. I can't Tree. wait for players to find new ways to combo Life Weaver's abilities with their teammates. It should lead to very exciting gameplay moments. Ryan's pinning tree. Life protects life. Hey, thanks for putting that together, Bull. Oh, there's more. I've never been more ready for adventure. Nice. I'm so excited for him. I think he'll be fun. I just am a little worried uh, how powerful he is in game. Cool. He he's very well made. You can tell they put a lot of thought and like a lot of design into that character. I just I hope that in game I can see he's gonna be a lot of fun to play. I don't know if he's gonna be much fun to play against. Yeah, so he's not like a strong high healing character. He's more about positioning, right? Which I like. We don't need any super heavy healing people more. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to try him in game. Also, a lot of his abilities seem like you have to react super, super fast to get value out of. Like someone's falling off the map like this. You have to be super aware. Just like snatch them super fast. Tree is pretty much a healing bob. Yeah. Oh, the, his ult seems super powerful. The fact that it blocks things too and you can use it for like... Hiding behind. You can even use it to like uh, block off the enemy team's healers from healing their tank. Like there's a, it's very situational. It's a lot like any new char character that comes out. Everyone freaks out. They're like, "Oh, they're so OP. Like, this should not be in the game. This is awful for the game." And then they end up just becoming a part of it, and just they just fit well when they do enter in. Once people get used to them. It might be painful to learn this new support. Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. Like, as soon as the support comes out, my recommendation is that you learn them as soon as they come out. Don't, like, be scared of learning the character. Learn it. Learn him as everybody else is learning him. Don't be like, ooh, I'm just gonna stick to Kiriko and Ana because I'm used to them. No, learn the new character when they come out with everyone else. Um.